So does every big hospital in Northeast Ohio require that their workers get the flu shot? Well, as far as I could tell, the Cleveland Clinic and Metro Health both require all their staff to get the flu shot during the flu season. University Hospitals has a requirement for any employee who's working directly with a patient, which they define as within six feet of a patient, you gotta get a flu shot and also UH employees who do some kind of patient services. So cleaning a hospital room or uh, preparing food for patients, they're also required to get flu shots. So it's a pretty much a general requirement for healthcare workers who are working with patients for the major hospitals. Now something that the hospitals do to make it easy for people is they offer the shot for free mm -hmm. and they offer it right there on the campus in the workplace. Metro Health even uh, offers it right in the hallway outside the cafeteria so you can get your flu shot on the way to lunch. They try to make this very easy and free and require it uh, to be sure that people actually get the shot. And there is some research into this. The Centers for Disease Control does um, an online survey of healthcare providers and what they found was that if you make it free, you make it accessible and you mandate it, uh, it's pretty much guaranteed that almost all your employees are going to go and get that flu shot. That's right. So do does, are any people exempt for the flu shot? Well, you can at the hospitals request an exemption and there are some people who do. They might request a religious or ethical exemption or maybe they have some medical concerns based on allergies or their own personal medical history. Um, so they have to actively ask for it and be approved for this to get uh, the exemption. Um, now, I was told that uh, by Metro Health that they actually have egg-free uh, mm. flu vaccines as well. So if anyone is vegan and they don't want animal products in their shot or if they're allergic to eggs, they have an option that's available for them too. So, you know, the obvious reason is you don't want to spread the flu or the cold in the hospital with sick people, but why do they do this? Well, that's just it. Uh, what doctors told me is these are uh, hospital workers largely. They are working with a vulnerable population of sick people, the elderly, children, people who could be very susceptible to the flu, and that's why they require their employees to get the shot. You know, uh, flu and pneumonia are the eighth leading cause of death yeah. in Ohio. So this is a, a pretty significant illness that can have a serious effect on people if their immune systems are compromised uh, or if they are uh, you know, ill in some other way. And since the hospitals do make it very easy by, like you said, having it outside the, the, the cafeteria and free, do a lot of the healthcare workers, do they take advantage of this? Well, uh, the, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, their survey found that about 42% of healthcare workers broadly across the country say that their employer requires them to get a flu mm -hmm. shot. Now that number's higher if they work in a hospital, which makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. And um, overall, uh, what the CDC found was that 79% of healthcare workers broadly got the flu shot in the last flu season. And that's actually up from 63% uh, or 64% rather in 2010. So we can see more and more healthcare workers are getting the flu shot and a, a pretty significant chunk of employers require it too. And so if, if employees, they just object to it, will the hospital fire them for not getting the flu shot? Well, there are examples around the country of hospitals that do penalize workers if they refuse to get the flu shot. Of course, there are these religious exemptions or other exemptions that people can apply for or ask mm -hmm. for or claim. There was one example of several employees who were fired by a hospital in Erie, Pennsylvania. Mm. They had been denied their religious exemption um, and they refused to get the flu shot anyway. The hospital fired them and uh, the equal uh, the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission from the federal government sued the hospital and those employees were rehired and the hospital had to pay them back pay. So it seems like there's some limits to what hospitals can do, but there are also examples of hospitals firing workers who don't get their shots. Wow, well, I got my flu shot, so. <laughs> well, anyway, Nick, a thank you for that information. Thanks.